Good morning. I am your girl, Ish. You are tuned in to the 5 a.m. podcast. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, so my sleep was interrupted this morning, okay? Uh, typically, I wake up at 5 a.m., 5.30, sometimes 6. It just depends on what I need to do in the day, right? So. I hear my dog vomiting, right? I wake up, I'm like, oh no. And I see the paper that she ate and I told her to spit it out and we're, we both suffered the consequences. So, you know, for my 5 a.m.ers, when you, when your sleep is interrupted, so this happened at three, three o'clock, somewhere around three. Um, and me, I lay back down, you know, until it's time for me to get back up. I should have just stayed up, uh, because it definitely threw me off. Um, so I want to know what happens with you guys that wake up early in the morning or plan to wake up, uh, wake up earlier in the morning if your sleep is interrupted what happens to you guys are you do you do you go back to sleep do you stay up does it cause you to want to sleep later in the day or later in the morning i should say since we're waking up early um yeah so it messed me up Uh, i had planned on um taking her for a walk around the block uh, trying to prepare or get acclimated to these cold temperatures. It's, you know, getting close to December. I'm doing a 75 hard challenge in January, uh, where you have to do a workout for 45 minutes outside, as well as a 45 minute workout inside. You got to do two workouts. So we're trying to get acclimated to that, to the colder temperatures. And uh, so I decided not to, and I'll do it later uh, this morning. I'll do my yoga and some abs. Um, but what what happens? What happens to you guys? Let me know. Let me know. Um, so the reason why I decided to start waking up early around 5 a.m. One, it's already in my nature. I cannot sleep past 7, 7.30 um, anymore. I could do it when I was a kid, when I was um, in middle school, I think in high school is when the pattern definitely started to shift. College, it was a completely different because definitely had to be up early for certain basketball practices and sometimes I could not sleep so I was up around that time and I would go to the gym uh the gym has been an oasis for me uh so waking up early has always been my nature but I found that for me waking up at 5 a.m I fucking hate it. I absolutely hate it. I don't like waking up that early. But at the same time, I'm more productive. Especially when it's starting to get cold. It's so hard to get out of bed because you feel that temperature difference from you being in your covers to stepping out of your covers. Um... And me personally, I don't like to keep the house too, too warm because I do have issues with my nose stopping up or trying to bleed if it is too hot. Um, So, yeah, uh, that's the reason why I get up at 5 a.m. I'm more productive. Uh, I 
typically start like here lately with working out twice twice a day three times a day whatever case may be i'm more tired and i want to go to bed earlier uh for the most part but that's why it's very important for me to try to sleep as soundly as i can through the night um so yeah the the 5 a.m podcast we're gonna be talking about different topics okay we're gonna be talking about uh fitness this podcast is brought to you by tailored training llc out of louisville kentucky um but we're we're not just gonna stay on the fitness side of things we're gonna talk about life we're gonna talk about um I plan on bringing my sister into the mix and we'll have uh thinking about having like a little segment where it's sister to sister. Um, and yeah, we're, we're going to talk about a lot of good things, health related things from the black female perspective. And then from my perspective, my added perspective is that I'm a stroke survivor um, I am the first to graduate uh, from college in my family. Um, and from, I should say, from a four-year college. Because my sister, she does have, she she graduated from nursing school uh, to be a CNA. I think that was two years, maybe. Um and I, I don't remember. I think that was, yeah, that was before I even went to college. So, <clears throat> um, so yeah, I'm not the only one that has secondary education under their belt. My mom, she went to college uh, for a couple years, but she didn't graduate. Um, started having babies. But yeah, we're going to talk about all types of things related to health, uh, fitness, health, fitness, nursing fields, and like just life in general. Um, I, I want to get, again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to the 5 a.m. podcast. You guys have a blessed and wonderful day. <clears throat> get up early, be productive, get those schedules set, meditate, do whatever you need to do. Focus in on you. Get those things done. And as always, everything is motivation. Peace.